I have clients that come and see me. One of the most impressive moments of my life was a 25 year old man sitting at my desk with his head on my desk, banging it gently and sobbing. This man has been battling cerebral palsy his entire life. And he was in the singles world and trying to date and trying to get a date. And he looked at me crying and he said, Matt, why can't I just be normal? Like everybody else in this world. And in my head, I'm like, loin boy, jam bomber. I had a 17 year old girl come to my office. I was working with her and she ended up, um, she'd been in a car accident. Her face was slightly paralyzed. She had some scars on her face. She had lost her equilibrium. She couldn't go do all the fun things she had been doing her entire life. And she looked at me, she said, now what am I going to be? I'm not an athlete. I don't think I'll ever get married. I don't look as pretty as I used to. I've had people that are depressed and anxious that have, I've worked with, people with ADHD. We have all of these things going on with us and we forget who we are. And none of that is who we are. The best example of who we are, it was a great quote from a guy named Teilhard de Chardin, a Jesuit priest who said this quote, and it's so important. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. You are spiritual beings having a human experience, and your human experience has nothing to do with who you are. You lived with God, he knew who you were, he cares for you, he loves you, and he wants you to understand that. And as we are dealing with the human world, it beats us up. 